Entertainin na lang po yung sarili niyo Now, the way the trip works, the points of interest will be on the right side on the way out. We'll be slowing down and talking about them. Springtime after the snow melts or after a heavy rain. The reason for that is some beavers build dams on top of the creek that feed the falls. Now it just dries up in the summertime. And these next three large coves are called the painted coves. Try to remember your color. The reds, browns, and oranges are from iron. The blues and greens are from copper. The white is from calcium, and the black is from manganese. You can see how this first cove is mostly made of iron.
carves out that soft thin layer of rock you see in the center of those caves. If you look on top of the cliff, what looks to be bushes, well those are actually old stunted trees. <laughs> what happens in the winter, large waves will crash <laughs> <and> <laughs> <you> <laughs> <get> <laughs> and by midwinter there'll be three to four feet of ice up there. <laughs> Pretty much stunts their growth. <laughs> And if you look down the shoreline, you'll see that archway. Well, that's Lover's Leap. I do not recommend jumping off Lover's Leap, though. I don't care how much you think you're in love. The water beneath the arch is only three feet deep. <laughs> It's called Indian Head Rock. And you might notice why some of the local Native Americans that once canoed through here were quite frightened of his presence. Gitchy Manitou, they called him. The Great Spirit.
Have any of you ever done anything like this before? Well, guess what? Neither have we. <laughs> right now we're about 15 feet of water. This boat drafts four and a half. We've reached our last point of interest called Spray Falls. Spray Falls is one of the only waterfalls that run around along the picture rocks. And what happens in the winter, an ice column will form around the outside and the water will flow through the center. But despite its beauty, Spray Falls is also the site of one of the earliest and worst maritime disasters on the Great Lakes. Back in 1856, the sidewheel passenger vessel, the Superior, lost its rudder and capabilities to maneuver in an October snowstorm. 